Hello, everyone. Welcome back to uh, this episode of Mass Effect. Uh, it is currently loading, so don't mind it. There it is. There's that game. <sighs> so, last I remember, we picked up Liara. Or Dr. Tsoni, as... Tucker likes to put it and give me shit for just just calling her by her first name. We're on a first name basis. Um Yeah. Most of this game I don't remember after this point. Except for like the end. All right. Yeah, so unfortunately, going back to this yes, game. Commander. Uh, I don't remember if I talked to him or not. Um, unfortunately for this game, it's just not great in terms of... It's just not a good port. So. Speak freely, Presley. I want to know if you have a problem with non-humans. I trust you, Commander. If you think they belong here, then so do I. How did you end up assigned to the Normandy? I signed up with the Alliance as a navigator right out of school. Following in my grandfather's footsteps, I guess. My first posting was on the Agincourt. We were at Elysium during the Skillian Blitz. A massive fleet of alien raiders hit the colony, trying to wipe it out. They had the numbers, but their ships were no match for an Alliance frigate. It was a slaughter. We couldn't even keep track of how many ships they lost. How'd you end up on the Normandy? I got my officer's commission after Elysium. Must have made an impression on the right people. Captain asked for me when he was picking his crew. Carry on, Presley. Yes, ma'am. Um, but yeah, the fact that this game runs at a fucking blistering 15 frames per second when I'm streaming. Uh, I prefer gold to silver, you know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I uh, pulled your boots out of the fire. If we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. That's a good point. They'd probably make me shave, too. I spent the last seven weeks working on this baby. No medal's worth that. So, Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? I already know the disease. I already know the nickname. Uh, give me the status How's report. How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. It takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got oh, stuff yeah. back. Nope. The Normandy's probably too Thanks, much Joker. We've already talked to you about Alliance that. Pilot commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything. I'd like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this Yep. You, All right. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. Yep, what disease? Blah, 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 blah. The we've Normandy already talked. Hands, and I'll make her dance for I have to go. All right, see ya. Thanks, Joker. Bye, Joker. What's this? I'll look outside here too. Ha <laughs> ha! That's the dot or the airlock. Give me all that experience. Ooh. Uh, now I need to go find where Liara is. Cause I think I need to have an actual just chat with her. You. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Venezia. 
I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Don't worry, Liara. I know. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. Sounds dangerous. And lonely. Sometimes, I would run afoul of indigenous life forms or stumble across a small band of mercenaries or privateers. But I was always careful. Until the Geth followed me to Artemis Tau. I never found myself in any situation my biotics could not handle. As for the solitude, well, that is one aspect that most appealed to me. Sometimes I just need to get away from other people. You don't like other people? I suppose it comes from being a matriarch's daughter. People expected me to follow in Benezia's footsteps. They wanted me to become a leader of our people. Matriarchs guide their followers into the future. They seek the truth of what is yet to come. Maybe that's why I became so interested in the secrets of the past. It sounds so foolish when I say it out loud. It sounds like I became an archaeologist simply to spite Benezia. All children rebel against their parents. It's a natural part of growing up. Uh -huh. You share the wisdom of the matriarch, Shepard. That is exactly what Benezia said when I told her of my decision. But there was more to it than that. I felt drawn to the past. The Protheans were these wondrous, mysterious figures. I wanted to know everything about them. That is why I find you so fascinating. You were marked by the beacon on Eden Prime. You were touched by working Prothean technology. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? No! I did not mean to insinuate. Uh, I never meant to offend you, Shepard. I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. <laughs> Relax. Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess, how could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. Now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? I don't understand it. She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become more involved in shaping galactic events. Maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. At least I hope so. This hurts you, doesn't it? None of this makes any sense to me. I have not spoken to Benezia in many years, but I know her. And this was not like her. Something changed. I don't know why, but it sounds like this conversation is quieter than normal. I mean, it may not be. Um, I've had to turn up the volume on my headphones thinking that because I, I know I've had to adjust it a few times um, but even looking at the uh, the mixer it's a lot lower than I remember it being but I'd like to know more about the Asari we were the first species to discover the Citadel we were instrumental in forming the council and we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes my people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. You don't say. I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term. Not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved. But it is not an essential element of the union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. 
What happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. You Asari live for a thousand years. What happens when your partner dies? Few sapient species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Instead, we enjoy the time we spend with them. And even after they're gone, a part of them lives on in us. The union is a connection that transcends both time and space. Do you know who Matriarch Venezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. Venezia never told you her partner's name? Union with our own kind is no longer common. Not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained. Or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pure blood. Though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face. It is a great insult among my people. It is possible Venezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. How could anyone abandon their own child? I cannot answer that. This is all speculation on my part. It is possible she wanted to be part of my life, but something happened to her before she had the chance. Venezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Thanks, Liara. That was a good chat. All right, time to head up to the map. To the map. To the map. I need to do now. Okay, Pharos has a Geth attack. Noveria has a Geth interest. Primary objective is that. Okay, so Noveria. Please, let's travel to another system. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, my name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say anymore in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the diplomat's lounge on the Presidium. Okay. So, go do that first. This is exactly how, part of the reason why I think I don't like playing a lot of RPGs uh, is I do the thing where, and a lot of people do it, where it's clear out all of the side missions before you progress um, which makes these games really fucking long but 
there does have to be a point where you just start to ignore it. Approach control. This is the SSV Normandy requesting a vector in the berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a council specter aboard. Landing access granted. Normandy. Fuck you. We got a specter. Why? What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. Getting a little cold from the the fan being on, so we're gonna toss this little guy on. Oops. Ugh. That's around my. I thought I had a little bit longer with the loading time. All right. Hard get fucking get, uh. cool. Yes, Commander. Okay. Carry on, Preston. I was just curious yes, if, if you had anything else to say to me. I want my boys equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere logged the commanding officer is ashore exo presley has the deck scan me Really? We couldn't have pulled a little bit more for. Oh, actually, no, it doesn't look like we could. We would have ran into the station. <sighs> Hello, everyone. That's far enough. Something wrong, officer? You better hope there isn't. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. You first. We're the law here. Show some respect. <laughs> I'm Captain Maiko Matsuo, Elanis Risk Control Services. I'm a specter. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, man. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Don't try it. Nobody takes my weapon. Charge and lock! We are authorized to use lethal force. You have to the count of three to surrender your weapons. One, two, three. Captain Matsuo, stand down! We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. Yeah, we're the confrontational ones, huh? Huh? You get out of here. Can I can I hit her? I'm sure Parasini san will answer any questions you have. Oh, all right. Totally thought there was going to be something there. Weapons detectors, don't mind the phones. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. I have urgent business here. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? And a sorry matriarch passed through a few days ago, Lady Benezia. Saren's aide is he. Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Hmm. Could you tell me how to get there? 
You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The Executive Board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. I'm not here to dig out any corporate secrets. That's gratifying to hear. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. Commander, it might be wise to bring Dr. Tassoni along. She knows her mother better than any of us. Damn it, Garrus. Why you gotta be so right? I think I have to go back to the, the ship. I don't think I can do a hot switch. Hot swap, or whatever the term is. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. <sighs> question is, who do I... I want to keep Rex with me. Lock. Sorry, Garrus. You can do some calibrations. Equalizing in interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Come on. Logged. The commanding oh, officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Welcome to Fort Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected site for independent sci- I realize I need to get her fucking leveled up. Search and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you, and enjoy your stay. Hmm. The managers warned us about you. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. News travels fast here. Indeed, esteemed Spectre. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. I won't carry anything if I don't know what it is. This one must be discreet. Rest assured, the contents pose no threat to anyone within this port. I want to know where this package is going. This one's customer prefers to remain anonymous. Your customer would prefer to have his package. Tell me who it's for, or I walk. Your words are not unreasonable. The customer is the Krogan called Inamorda. That one is a bounty hunter of some repute, 
and quick to anger. You understand this one's urgency. That other grows restless from the delay. Fuck it. I have no problem with that. This one humbly thanks the specter. The package will be delivered to your vessel. All you need do Fuck is bring to this one. Please do not mention this to Administrator Analeas. That one would levy fees. Is there anything else this one might help you with? Could I buy something now? Is there anything in particular the Spectre is looking for? Armor upgrade. Oh shit. Oh, that shit's so expensive. Alright. Back to the ship. I need to get her upgraded with stuff. None of those work. Uh, she's already got that. I don't think she's going to be a sniper. Pistol, though, could. Let's equip her with that. It's the whole thing where I made the character, like, by any means necessary. I'm just going to continue to do it. And expand it to just doing whatever the fuck I want. Which should be an interesting way to play this. Because I was very Paragon, I believe, in the last one. Where I'm primarily... I, it is unintentionally going more Renegade. It's just... I A lot of these responses seem to be like the more fun one. Plus, it's the push towards one side in order to get uh, some of these responses. Hey, you. Greetings, Spectre. Have you brought the package? Yeah? Here you are. The Spectre has done a great service for this one. From the deepness of light, it thanks you. This one promised compensation for services rendered. It humbly suggests that a sum of 250 credits would be most appropriate. Except I can't do that now. Uh. 250, huh? The Hanar government is communistic, right? Then this business is concluded. Is there anything else the other should like? No. I'm just browsing right now. This one awaits your return. Fuck you. I'm on duty, Spectre. I shouldn't be talking to you. I'm on duty. I shouldn't be talking to you. The fact that I outrank you should say something. Move. Oh, yeah, okay. Not you. Uh, 
Yeah, I guess I do need to talk to you. How can I help you? I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. Please, it's Spectre. Sh uh, Shepard? Shattered? What's over here, huh? Can I just yoink whatever's in this safe right in front of you? No? Okay. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain colonial rubes. I see you looked up my service record. Only a fool enters negotiation without knowledge of the other party's tendencies. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. Are you telling me you have no safety protocols? Don't be ridiculous. Do you think a for-profit company would take no precautions against loss of life and material? Project leads have the final say here, not meddlesome politicians. Do you do business with Saren? Agent Saren? One of your Spectre compatriots? He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Benezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. You let Asari who can kill you with their brains run around, but give us flack about guns? They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. I'd like to see her. Immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. What can you tell Fuck. me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. That one. Past weapons what brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. Get me away from him. Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a past to leave on chance. Oh, yeah? You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. So it would seem. I need an alternative. Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not with an earshot of Mr. Analeas. How large are the facilities here? We have 17 research complexes built into the mountains. Each is a self-sufficient facility housing a staff of hundreds. Tell me about the companies that work on Novaria. Over 250 high-tech firms rent our labs. Major shareholders include Elanis Risk Control Services, Binary Helix, and Synthetic Insights Limited. Binary Helix. They work in genetics? BH is a leader in genetics and biotechnology. They try to keep a low profile in the media. Much of their research is in biotic modifications. That angers many Luddite, organic baseline, and fundamentalist groups. Your guards work for ERCS, don't they? The executive board gets a discount on facility security. Ilanis also develops lethal and non-lethal weapons. Haven't I seen synthetic insights in the news lately? They're one of only four corporations licensed by the Citadel Council to develop artificial intelligence. They attract many protests. No agitators have ever breached our security. That's why they invest heavily here. You said I should talk to Lorik Keen? Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanshan. Keen spends his days at the hotel since his office was closed. I've taken up enough of your time. Not at all, Spectre. This is my job, after all. Hotel bar.
management told us not to talk to you. The management warned us about you, Spectre. As they should. That's me. I used to be a military tech. Except for my Eco's people, everyone's too corporate here. They just sit around sipping expensive water. What can I do for you today? You seem like you have an ear to the ground. What's happening around here? There's the problems up on Peak 15. Synthetics Insights was shut down by Analeus. And a matriarch came. Do you know where that matriarch is now? You looking for her? She took a shuttle to Peak 15 before we lost contact. What sort of problems are there at Peak 15? Don't know. There's a blizzard up there, but we've had those before. Never cut the satellite uplinks before. 15's always had a lousy reputation. Nobody talks about what they do there. And everyone sent up comes back a little quieter. What was that about synthetic insights? Scuttlebutt says Laura Keen was on the take. Zainalea shut down SI's offices. Quiet like, so no off-world lawyers come in on it. What do you do here? I'm the chief mechanic for Hanshan. Just call me Lee. Humans have a problem saying my full name. Got a team of 12 under me, keeping the shuttles coming and going. How can I get into the garage? You need a pass. You can get one from Analeas for the managers, if you can polish enough gizzard. Maybe you could let me borrow yours? Sure. If I wanted to lose my job and get sued into the next spiral arm, security tracks card use. I have to go. You need anything? I'll be here. Access to the garage is restricted. I'm on Citadel business. I need to leave this station. If you want to enter the garage, you need authorization for Mr. Analeas. No exceptions. I'm sorry. The, I mean, it, obviously it's gameplay mechanic. But logically, when you're talking about specters and having as much as they... As much power as they state they have. And then you're getting hassled by guards it's just like i get you're doing your job but you do realize exactly who you're talking to right someone who outranks you by several levels like i'll work i'll be i'll be good until you Give me a reason to not be good. And you're giving me a reason to not be good. Excuse me, I need a moment of your time. What? The male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. Oh, fuck that you. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your... my real intentions. He's right there. Why not talk to him yourself? I wish I could. I already bungled this myself. He realized I was not a real buyer. I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in Binary Helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. 
There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. What's in it for me? Money, of course. I would be well paid for this. So would you. 500 credits. Fine. Interesting plan. I'm in. Excellent. Here is the cracking device. You will know it is done when it beeps. I have assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. Tell me what you know about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. I'll go see him now. I hope to hear from you soon. So, talk to Vargas, talk to... Yeah, you. Can I help you? Mr. Vargas, I'm Commander Shepard, a Spectre. I understand you work for Binary Helix. That's correct. Rafael Vargas, sales. Were are you interested in our services? It's customary to perform minor genetic upgrades on enlistment. I've been assigned to see what BH has to offer. It was my understanding that the Citadel contracted to a Solarian Corporation for its enhancement programs. Mr. Vargas, I'm here to talk business with you. If you'd rather speculate on politics, I can visit another Gen Eng firm. You have my full attention, Shepard. I'm merely getting a handle on my negotiating position. First, the boilerplate disclaimer. No genetic enhancement is guaranteed to take. We can maximize the odds, but every strand of DNA is unique. Our patented techniques can provide an 8% improvement in adrenal response, 12% faster clotting, and a measurable decrease in ZG muscle degeneracy. Is it possible to deaden pain somehow? What? Why, uh, we, we could try to make the skin insensate, I suppose. Full body numbness, atrophy out all the nerve clusters, we'd still feel internal injuries. But that's dangerously close to genetic engineering, Shepard. The laws only allow improvement of natural functions. We can't add or remove. I can get you those improvements for 30k credits per head. For a bulk order, I can work in a sensory enhancement package. Guaranteed 2015 vision and hearing from 12 to 22,000 hertz. Are you sure that's the best price you can offer? Absolutely. That's the standard rate. Of course, if the government moves forward with this on an official level, there might be some additional discounts. I have to admit, it surprised me that you were here for business. There are many development projects on Avaria, some not entirely legal. I wear a lot of hats, Mr. Vargas. Some days I shut down criminals, some days I defuse nukes, some days I like to enjoy private vices. You understand me? I'm beginning to. It's obvious you have no knowledge of genetics, which makes it highly unlikely you were sent by the Citadel. Are you calling me a liar, Mr. Vargas? All I know is that you're wasting my time. Good day, Commander. I fucked it. Any results? He figured out what I was up to and left. Unfortunate, but I cannot blame you for sharing my lack of success. We'll need to find another avenue to access Binary Helix. Wait, what about my money? For what? Scaring off the mark? Yeah, no, I, do not I wouldn't blame either. You, but do not presume too much. Good day, Spectre. The fact that that option was there, I decided to pull. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Are you Laura Keen? I heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can old Turian like me possibly help you with? I'm trying yep. to find a way into the garage. 
I have places to go. You need a pass. How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office. For the moment, at least. Mr. Analeus closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. By rents, you mean bribes for Analeus. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeus' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeus would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. Why didn't Analeus cancel your pass clearance? Why should he? There's nothing outside but snow and hungry Nathak. How did you get a pass? I'm a manager. Most executives on Novaria are free to come and go as they will. You have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... What is that charming human expression? Fly in the lotion? Violence against Mr. Analeus' thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. I'll focus on trying to get your evidence. If I'm lucky, I won't have to fight anyone. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep bloodstains off the carpets, would you? Mm, no guarantees there. Sorry, buddy. Uh, let's explore here a little bit longer. Sorry, the hotel is off limits to those without a corporate account. Okay, bye. Don't hang up. Elder brother, it's me. I'm on the very now. Beat it. I said beat it. Go find something else to do, stupid mammal. If you don't stop poking me, I'll throw you off that balcony. I said beat it. All right. Uh. Security logs on authorized transmission. Not sure if you will receive this, Doctor, but it is imperative you make your way to the safe location. Your history with the organization has been leaked. Your base in the Newton system is no longer secure. I repeat, make your way to the safe location immediately. Oh. Okay. So good thing I did that. Find something else to do, stupid mammal. Um. Oh. Shit, shit, shit. I bet you if I kept the package, I could have just delivered it to him myself. I forgot who that person was. God, I love having a Krogan on my team. Krogan just have such a cool design. 
Like, look at him. Look at Rax. Also, I like Asaris, too. Venturians. And Solarians. And Quarians. I like... I just like the designs of all the alien species here. Freeze! Henshin security. This office is sealed. Lorik Keen gave me a pass in. Keen? Are you working for him? He's under investigation. I don't have time for this. Get the hell out of here or I'll start shooting. You want to cause trouble? Oh, shit. All right. This looks just like the bar. I will tank all of that shit. Oops. Take all of that shit as well. Um, I assume this is his main office up here. Kit. Got it. Cool. Now let's actually do some poking through all this. Um, alright. Okay. Nothing that's actually big. There's a bunch of the these guys, though. Back. Uh, armor piercing two is what I have on. Uh, I'm gonna go anti personnel at this point. Um, combat sensor. Uh, I am okay with that. Liara. No, Rex. Rex, what do you have? Hammerhead rounds to sure. He doesn't have anything on this first one. Um, recoil dampener. High caliber? Improved sighting? Improved sighting. No. No. We give combat sensor there. Let's do the phasic rounds for her. Okay. Right. I had something, it was like a different name that popped up. 
I thought I saw like Sterling. Oh, um. Hmm. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. Do you plan on making me leave? Leave? You think I'm gonna let you walk out? Uh-uh. Analeas would throw you off world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? You're breaking the law for bribe money. You know what we do to dirty cops on my world? I have a mission to complete. I did what I had to. I don't know. Give me that barrier. I will destroy you. I will destroy you. Fucking excuse me. I mean, they didn't give me an option. Yoink. Oops. Yoink. All right, back to here. Uh, edge three, huh? Not one that uh, my stinger still does probably the best work. Liara, though. Uh, that I will give this to Liara. Yes, transfer those upgrades. Rex. Ooh, he's got. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, the Storm 3s actually aren't... They aren't amazing. They're more accurate. But not the damage. So yeah, I'm gonna... Get rid of one of those and one of those. Because I don't really need them. Uh, sniper is going to go to, um, Garrus. Um, Phoenix 2 armor gives a bunch of biotic protection, but at the risk of everything else, so no. I'm getting better at the decryption stuff. 
Missing person reports to the attention of Administrator Analeas, a man named Garoth uh, is looking for information on the whereabouts of one of our freighters. He believes his brother's ship may have been attacked by the privateers while traveling through the Stren Strenus system. Uh, investigation pending. Good. Commander, there have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. No. Would you know anything about it? Speak plain. What's your interest? Not here, Spectre. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be waiting. I don't know what you're talking about. And it's entirely the reason why they don't have weapons on here. But yeah, no, I'm not leaving with without mine. Me to reintroduce myself. Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. What do you want? The executive board knows about Analeas's corruption. I've been undercover for six months. I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run profitably again. You work for Analeas. Can't you just take his records? <laughs> He's a crook, not a moron. He doesn't keep logs on his computer saying, this month I stole three million credits. Keen's testimony and records are everything I need to prove Analeas' guilt in one package. Why don't you ask Keen directly? I'm Analeas' secretary. You'd think he'd believe me? That he'd meet me in some dark alley with his evidence? I thought corruption was the rule on Novaria. The rule is, don't rock the boat. Self-interest is tolerated if it doesn't interfere with business. Analeas is driving customers away. I need Keen's garage pass to complete my mission. You help my investigation, I'll provide whatever you need. Favor for a favor. In the long run, it is better to remove the source of the problem. Look, Shepard, I don't like this either. You specters play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. I don't want to be a fucking merc. I'll consider it and get back to you. If you have any love for the law, you'll talk to Keen for me. Don't disappoint me. You know where I work. Come talk to me when you change your mind. Oh shit. Um. Fuck. I didn't think that that was going to... I thought that was just a flavor text thing of like... I'll do it. But I don't want to admit to doing it, type of thing. But apparently, that's the uh, I don't know. I'm not accepting this quest option. <laughs> All right. And they run way the fuck over here because I said the wrong option.
Like, the more that I look at this, the more this actually looks like one of the... Or sort of looks like one of the Mass Effect 3 multiplayer maps. Excuse me. Yeah, you. Spectre, have you given any more consideration to my offer? Yes. All right. I'll talk to Keen and see if I can convince him. Thank you. You know where I work. Come talk to me once you know if he'll play ball. Now I go back to the fucking other side of this place. Uh, for those of you who are wondering, yes, I'm understanding this is going a little bit longer than normal. Um, I want to basically get to the point of being able to, or to have the key and everything before I start, or before I end this part. Which should be coming up here in a little bit. Just based on how everything seems to be going. God, I can't... Legitimately, I can't wait to finish this so I can get on to Mass Effect 2. Because I actually... I don't know if 2... I know 3 runs fine. Uh, I don't think I've tried to stream it, but I know 3 runs fine. Because I've played it. Um, I can't say I played 2 on PC either, so... Hey, Laura King. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? Um, I need to get up to peak 15. Oh. Indeed. That might be difficult. Oh. A terrible storm has been unleashed up there. Are you referring to the blizzard? Of course. What else would I be referring to? I heard there was an accident. There have been unseemly rumors circulating along the lines of ancient evil and plague from distant suns. <laughs> Amusing, no? Someone watches too many bad horror vids. I need to get up to peak. Indeed. That might be difficult. A terrible storm has been unleashed up there. The administrator won't give us garage access. Not surprising. Of course, all the managers have access as well. I do, for that matter. I need to get up to peak 15. Indeed. That might be oh. difficult. A terrible storm has been unleashed up there. I should let you go. I got let stuck go. out of it. Do humans consider conversation a form of imprisonment? That would explain why so few are willing to sit and talk. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I ask you to look into? I finished the job, but an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Enelaus. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it. I have no interest in a public spectacle. If necessary, yes. Do what I tell you to, or Analeas will find what he's looking for. It is good to have all our cards on the table. I regret that you have a better hand. Very well, I will testify. Yeah, I've renegade game plus 25. Contact, I will wait here. <laughs> I have not been contacted regarding our arrangement yet. Things in hand. Working on it. Not yet. I need to speak to my contact. Do hurry. Analeas has many spies. Back to over here. Fucking Christ. Boom, boom, doo, doo, ba, doo. I'm actually kind of impressed. My water cooling is at 30. I hit the button. That's why they're in here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, mother fucking shit balls.
Oh, let's see. Let's go more into the Intimidate. Look at all the shit that I've done. Uh, yeah. That's frustrating. I got soft locked. Oh, you motherfucker. Okay. Yep, now I need to fight these guys again. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. Do you plan on making me leave? Analeas. You're breaking the law for bribe money. You know what? I have do? a mission to complete. I don't. Nope, nope, nope. No. Oh, fuck. Uh, give me. Give me barrier. Give you barrier. You've already got barrier up. Stasis him. I'll lift him. Oh, okay, cool. So stasis. Bip. There you go, Liara. Cool, that was fun. Let's just do this all over again. Take all of that. Take. Um, right, I was getting rid of you. And you, I don't think. Um, I need something that gives me more accuracy. So these are armor piercing. I want anti personnel. Liara. Does not have any. I'm giving her the edge three. Have her with. 
just had a couple of these two on me, Joe. Um, let's do recoil dampener. <laughs> You, with your shotgun, will get hammerhead three, uh, high caliber barrel, high caliber barrel. Like, you get to be just mean. Okay. Guess who's stuck in the crouching... There it is. Apparently it's Z is the... The slow speed. Wasn't aware of that until just now. Obviously that elevator did not expect us to be there. I'm so annoyed that I have to go through this again. Thankfully, I shouldn't have to go that extra. Commander, there have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. Don't be coy. Speak plain. What's your interest? Not Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be waiting. But now I know that that other choice is uh, something that I need to go back and talk about. Elevators now scare me in this game. to reintroduce myself. Parasini, your um, very internal affairs. What do you want? The executive board, I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run. You work for Anna. Keen's I believe I still need to go through all of these. Why don't you ask Keen? I'm Analeas' secretary. You think he'd believe me? The rule is don't rock the boat. Self-interest is tolerated. I need Keen's go. You help my invest. Look, Shepard, I don't like this either. You specters play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. Thank you. You know where I work. Come talk to me once you know if he'll play ball. Okay. Now I don't have to run back to her office. I can just go right here. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? I need to get up to peak physics. Indeed. Blizzard. Of course. What else would I be referring to? An accident. <laughs> Amusing, no. Someone watching. Indeed. That might be administrative. Not surprising. Of course, all the managers have access as well. Did you see Yes, her? she caused quite a stir. It's not every day a matriarch arrives with a guard detail of commandos. Oh, here's new stuff. Is it so unusual to see a matriarch? They rarely venture beyond Asari space. To see such an esteemed figure is surprising. Lady Benezia was also dressed for her role. An Asari in a pinstripe suit set tongues wagging among the younger male employees, so to speak. Young males have an unhealthy obsession with my species. What's that supposed to mean? Armed commandos were allowed on Novaria? I don't know if they were disarmed. Of course, one can't confiscate biotic powers. Saren, and by extension, Venezia, is an important person. By that, I mean an investor who might sell stock, if denied. Do you know why Benezia's here? She claimed to be Saren's assistant, here to get a certain project back on track. I suspect she meant Peak 15. I have a different question. Humans are full of questions. 
I should write a book about it while I have the time to spare. I finished the job, but an internal affairs investigation. Now that you have my property, you want to I'm right, I will. Very well. I will testify. Give me that. Make whatever arrangements you need with your contact. I will wait here. And before I walk into here. There. Hey, it closed this time. I wasn't even really paying attention that first time. All of a sudden, I just looked behind me. I'm like, wait. That door's not shut. We should have been there by now. And then I was locked in place, so... Wait, uh, there's also the squad upgrades. I put two in to intimidate. Auto level them. Spectre, have you given any more consideration to my offer? I took some persuasion, but Keen has agreed to testify. <sighs> That's a world of stress off my back. I'll take the evidence for safe transport. <laughs> I didn't think you'd help me, being a Spectre and all. I guess some of you can be all right. Doesn't this help you? You don't seem particularly happy. I'm ecstatic, but right now I just feel like a long day of work is ending. While you were working on Keen, I got you a garage pass. Be careful up there. I have an arrest to make. Wish I had time to change into something easy to move in. I hate skirts. This is an outrage. I'll see that you never work in this sector again. Yeah, yeah, get a move on. You, Shepard! I demand you place this bitch under arrest! You have the right to remain silent. I wish to God you'd exercise it. See you around the galaxy, Commander. I owe you a beer. Oh fuck, that was Paragon stuff. No. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna save it outside the uh, the garage and then we will call that an episode. A long episode. It's also really quiet, and I don't, I don't like it. This game has a lot of really good music. I don't like it when it's quiet. All right, we're gonna stop right there. Save the game. All right, and then for those of you who are watching on YouTube, thank you. Uh, you know the routine by now. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Blurry Phoenix, and game on.